From the Windows menu, select the Fire Pump Calculation. Note that all results that have been automatically calculated will show up in red text. Therefore, the red text is not an error. Also note that there are two tabs associated with the Fire Pump Calculations. One is for Actual Pump Calculations and the other one is for NPSH Check. Select the required pump from the list and this will list all the recommended pumps and once you select it you will get a duty curve where the most favorable and unfavorable groups are depicted and now we can uh, also confirm the NPSH pressure check and add the uh, required parameters for that like pipe type, length of fittings, static pressure and fluid vapor pressure which you can select from a table and the last row of the table will tell you if your design complies for NPSH or not. So in this case it does comply as discussed before the most favorable and unfavorable groups are shown here in the pump curve and the NPSH curve is also depicted and in addition the, the pump motor power is also calculated now we can also check to ensure that our networks frictional drops are compliant and we can do that with a glance and we can find the most favorable and unfavorable groups We can also go to check our network by clicking on network checking. This will show major problems such as sections that exceed maximum velocity or sections where there is no fluid velocity or no fluid flow. Also the software produces a bill of materials which is exportable to a spreadsheet from which you can calculate your project cost and a fully customizable report. So you can use the standard report that's supplied with the software or you can enter your own report from which you can produce a specification document. So uh, here we can choose default sections that we'd like to include into the report. And we can also link it to Word or Excel or PDF. So we've got a lot of options for exporting this report. We can also preview the report. This concludes step five. Thank you.